Okay, domain and range for a function is actually a pretty important concept. So let's say if we have a function, um, let's say it's defined as uh, 5 over x plus 7. Okay, so the way you think about domain and range is like this. Say you are inside of your room, you have a whole bunch of stuff, animals, and maybe a toy car. Okay, you're trying to put this one on a bookshelf, organize it. Okay, the way you organize it according to certain rules, that's what we call the function. Okay, so function is called really just the rules. What do you have? That's what we call the domains. Okay, and the bookshelf you're putting on it, that's called a range. Okay, so where you can put it on it. So let's take a look at our function over here. So rule says, give me any x, I'm going to add to 7, put it on the denominator, and then divide 5 with it. Okay, that's how we're going to put on the bookshelf here. So maybe your car, if it's a car, you're going to put on the bottom. If it's a small stuff, maybe a book or something, you can put on top. Maybe if it's a purple or red, you're going to put it in the middle shelf. So the rule stays, changes. But the element you have is the domain, and where you're putting is the range. So take, let's take a look at this function then. What x is good? All the x except, so let's write it out, all x that's in the real domain or real numbers, except there's 1. Can you spot it? Except x equal to minus 7, because this is a one bad x in that when I have a minus 7 on the bottom, I have a minus 7 plus 7, that's 0. Denominator cannot be 0. So for this class of functions, this class of rules, there's a requirement that denominator, denominator cannot be 0. Okay, so domain here for this one is all x axis except when x equal to 7. You got to plus, take this point out. Okay, so here is your domain. On the range side, it's all numbers. Okay, let's take a look at another one. What if I have a function g that's equal to x minus 3 and squared? So all possible x's, because the square function doesn't really require anything other than any x you can put in there, I'm going to take 3 away from the any number you put in, I'll square and put on the shelf. Okay, so here's the domain. That's all real numbers. Okay, here's our domain. And according to this rule, we're going to put it into the range. Okay, now take a look at range. The only thing that you can't have on the range is y there's no negative numbers no negative numbers because when you square any number you put in for x you always have a non-negative the reason i say non-negative instead of positive is that yes indeed you can't have a zero for the range because if you have a, a positive three in the domain three minus three square that you will have this number to zero you'll put the zero on the shelf if you have a three inside uh, inside of the house Okay, so for the range, it's all non-negative numbers. Okay, let's try one more. Let's see if we have another piece of paper here. Um, one more of, let's see if we have a function that looks like, uh, let's this time let's try a radical root of x squared minus 49. Okay. This type of function with the radical root has a requirement that whatever you have inside has to be bigger or equal to zero. So let's write it out. This is our requirement. This is how we find what's a good x. Okay, so finding domain is really you're looking for what are the good x. Okay. So for this one, we have to require the stuff under the radical root to be positive. And in order to solve this one, let's move 49 onto the other side. Now, a lot of students at this, this point will just take a radical root and get x is bigger than 7. That's actually not completely true. There's another half. What if x is less than minus 7? Okay, that still fits. If I have a minus 10, okay, minus 10 squared is 100. 100 on this side is bigger than 49. So you want to make sure there's another half that you didn't just forget. Okay, so it's x bigger than or equal to 7 or x less than or equal to minus 7. So there's two parts on the domain part. Okay, what about the range? Here's our rules. 
Okay, range, once you take the radical number that's positive number, then this one is, is all um, positive, and you can have zero as well. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.